Well, we do have this monsoon moisture. We also have an incredible heat wave upon us. This weekend will be close to triple digits, and that heat is fueling toxic algae blooms in many lakes where people and pets like to cool off, like the Blue Mesa Reservoir near Gunnison, parts of which are closed right now because of a bloom, and that is the same case for Denver's Duck Lake at City Park. Tori Mason joins us live there tonight. And Tori, one Colorado City is actually working to prevent these toxic algae blooms altogether. Yes, Karen, and blue-green algae, it's not on I mean, it, it's not uncommon, but it can make you sick and it can even be fatal to dogs. And if you don't know what that algae looks like, I'm going to show you right now. We are at City Park right now, and this is Duck Lake. And you can see the film of green algae just sitting in the water. It's not even moving. That's why you're not even allowed to swim in this lake right now. Nearby cities are looking at solutions for this. When it's this hot, people jump in without knowing what's in it. Floating islands like these in Horseshoe Pond near Bear Creek could be the key to keeping you safe. It's really ingesting the water is the, is the issue. Natural resource expert Lee Blair says the city of Lakewood is still doing sampling on this project to prevent algae blooms. They're taking out these nutrients of the water, um, not allowing the blue-green algae to kind of feed off of them and grow. Um, where they're becoming harmful. Today, there's hardly any algae compared to 2019. CBS4 was there after toxic bacteria was found in the same pond. The plants that are growing on top of them are rushes and sedges, which are just native plants to this area, and they are kind of uptaking nutrients like your nitrogen, your phosphorus. Behind me are eight of the 12 floating islands in Horseshoe Pond. They're made out of recycled material and use foam to stay afloat. And the roots will go down into the water creating like a habitat for uh, fisheries. And then also that's where they're kind of uptaking those nutrients. Blair says prevention here could stop algae from reaching waters where more people swim. All that water is kind of going into that ditch, feeding into this pond, and then it goes into Bear Creek. And Bear Creek eventually meets the plat. Guys, I'm, I'm like throwing sticks into this water right now so you can see just how thick that layer of green algae is. And again, ingesting this water with the algae is what puts you at risk. And that's why it's especially important to keep your kids and your dogs out of this water. And if you're out in these open waters and you see something like this, please be sure to contact your city or even call 411. They'll put you in contact with the right person. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.